Alright, today we're going to look at uh, restrictions on the iPad. Um, restrictions can be used to enable or disable certain features and it's a useful thing for teachers and parents who are looking to maybe lock down or restrict certain aspects of the device. So I'm going to start by clicking on settings and on the general tab on the side there if we just scroll down a little bit you'll see restrictions on the right hand side now currently restrictions are off so I'm just going to tap this to turn them on I click at the top here it says enable restrictions you have to choose a passcode the passcode will um, be your your fail safe it will mean that people cannot go in and just turn the restrictions on and off as need be so I'm just going to choose a nice easy one see if I can remember that retype it and now I'm in my restrictions menu at this point I can turn Safari on or off as I like I can turn YouTube on and off this is the YouTube app um, remember that if you turn YouTube off and you still have Safari on you could still get to YouTube through Safari or a different browser the camera and FaceTime you can turn on and off iTunes Installing and deleting apps, that's a good one down here at the bottom here, so you can choose, you know, are people allowed to install apps? Yes or no? Are they allowed to delete apps? No. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we got some more. Allow changes for location. So certain apps ask for your location and they use that to help um, give you the best interface or experience with that app you can choose whether people are allowed to make changes to that or not accounts this is for mail do you want people to be able to make changes to your mail accounts yes or no and then there we have the allowed content section here so choose ratings for the country that you live in music and podcasts so at the moment explicit uh, lyrics are allowed so I can turn those off and it's now clean movies you can see which ratings you would allow movies to be on your iPad. Same for uh, TV shows, so the TV ratings on there. Apps. So apps do come with age ratings. Certain apps um, do have content that makes them 17 plus and things like that. So you can choose which types of apps you would like to allow people to have access to on your iPad. Here's one good one as well, in-app purchases. So a lot of apps may be free to begin with, but they say, you know, for 99 cents you can buy these extra levels or for 1.99 you can remove ads and things like that. So this is the in-app purchases. Do you want people to be able to make in-app purchases on your device? If you don't, turn those off. Require password. It says require password for purchases. You can say, do you want password every time someone makes purchase you can turn it on immediately or just every 15 minutes so if you're making several purchases you don't want to put your password in every single time you can set it for 15 minutes but if you're worried or concerned about that make it immediately every time they will get asked for a password and then the last ones here on the list are game center the game center app so do you want to allow multiplayer games and adding friends and things like that so there you go once your restrictions are set they are there in your device. Every time you go back in to maybe make changes, it's going to say, put that passcode in again. So there we go. You can turn off restrictions just by clicking disable restrictions. But again, guess what? You've got to enter your passcode so that it knows the right person is turning off these restrictions. So there you go. Some uh, nice quick ways to um, lock down parts of your device using the built-in parental controls that Apple has included for everybody who uses the iPad.